Hello Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be going over steam powered parks. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Now when I say steamed powered parks, I do not mean parks that are powered by water when it is brought to a boil. That is not what we are talking about. STEAM is an acronym, and it's more commonly known as STEM, which is Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, but there's an A added in it, which stands for Art. Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. There are various fields that these encompass in STEAM, and they are all explored within the National Park System. Now, for science, National Park scientists, academic researchers, and volunteers are conducting groundbreaking scientific research every single day inside the National Parks. Whether studying wildlife, connected to conservation, processes for preserving historical structures, or the research in national parks and beyond our boundaries through programs and partners, continue to push the boundaries inside science and national parks. Now for technology and national parks, the history and evolution of technology and its complex and sometimes difficult effects are preserved in many national parks. You can visit the labs of innovative minds, including George Washington Carver and Thomas Edison, and other places where advances in technology were made, as well as the National Park Service and their partners continue to look at groundbreaking technology to make it easier for people to experience the parks and natural and cultural resources across the country. Now for engineering, national parks are home to many of the nation's most iconic engineering marvels, including the Golden Gate Bridge, the Gateway Arch, the Casa Grande houses, and the Going to the Sun Road. With more than 300 million visitors a year, engineers are essential to designing infrastructure so everyone can experience the national parks. We continue to push the modern engineering in the upkeep of these special places in the parks, but also the communities through partnerships, grants, collaborating on research, and many more ways. Now for arts in the National Park, art has been a part of the history of the National Park Service since the 1870s, when the Hudson River School painters captured the majestic western landscapes. Through their awe-inspiring works, a wider public came to see the special places in America for the first time. The works captured the imaginations of American citizens, spurring them to preserve these lands for future generations. Today, the tradition continues as parks are a place to practice arts for expression, preserving heritage, capturing memories, and sharing your experience with others. And finally, mathematics. You might not think that mathematics play a huge part in the National Park Service, but it does. Math is used daily in so many career fields throughout the National Park Service. Budgeting, planning, maintenance, information, technology, and more. It is also the heart of many large-scale projects throughout the National Parks. For example, using geospatial imaging helps parks understand the patterns in species populations, make accurate maps of lands, and develop models of the night sky and soundscapes throughout the year. STEAM, as well as other fields, are greatly infused into the National Park Service. If you'd like to find out more about each of these individual fields or more about the National Park Service in general, I will be leaving links in the description down below. Well, everybody, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!